Hi, this is Bill Grub at Night Vision Depot. Uh, glad you could join me. We're here today to talk about our BMD product line. Uh, we basically have three different models. We have the no gain, we have the single gain, and we have the dual gain. The BMD was first created in 2006, has been slowly modified and improved since then. Uh, next, I'll show you uh, what a BMD would look like when you receive it. So this is the soft case that your beam video would come in. This is a very ruggedized uh, soft case. It can be dropped on the floor or the ground. It will not damage a unit. The soft case also has a removable Velcro badge, which you, if you want to customize it for your own unit, uh, you can do that. Uh, inside, you'll receive your beam video and an accessory kit, which we'll cover later. Um, first of all, your beam video. Uh, will come with these lens protectors on them. So uh, to start using it, just flip these down like this. You'll want to install a battery. So just look on the bottom of the unit and you'll see a plus and minus sign to tell you which way to insert the battery. And you're ready to go. So first thing you want to do with your BMVD is hold it up to your eyes. Well, turn it on and hold it up to your eyes. And you want to focus your eyepieces to get as sharp as you can and then you want to focus your objectives to get as sharp an image as you can. And then go back to the eyepiece and sharpen it to crystal clarity. And once you've done that, if you want to look at the setting on the eyepiece, it'll tell you where it should be all the time for your own eyes. position is your standard on and when in this position um, you can use the BMVD as you normally would however when you flip it up on your helmet mount it will not turn off when it is in the second position when you flip the unit up it will actually turn off so that your face will not be illuminated with any light coming out of the eyepieces um, in the fourth position we now turn on the infrared LED and on the front of here, you'll see the infrared LED has an IR spot flood, is what we call it on here, that adjusts the width of the beam from a spotlight to a floodlight. So this enables you to, to read maps, to go into very dark buildings, um, and still have enough light to see. And it, it is covert. Uh, in other words, somebody will not be able to tell that this IR LED is on with a naked eye. So one other feature we should cover on the uh, single gain BMVD before we move on is this control right here. And this is your, it adjusts the brightness of the tubes basically. And the higher you turn it, the harder the tubes are working. And the more you're going to get like a snowy image, like a bad reception on a TV. So you always want to to try and turn this down a little to get your optimum performance out of the tube. And you'll know it when you see it. It'll start getting too grainy. Uh, and just back it back down a little bit to get the best optimum image. And, and times when you would see this is if you were in a suburban environment where there was a lot of ambient light in the background and the tube would just have so much light available that it, it has more than it needs. So you want to turn that gain down a little bit. Other than that, uh, we're, we're going to move on to uh, some of the accessories and things that come with the BMVD. So this is your, your normal package that you're going to get when you get your BMVD. And inside is going to be an accessory pouch. And in this pouch, you're going to have your operator's manual, which is basically covers every single thing about the BMVD, including all the parts and accessories that, are, that it normally comes with. Uh, part numbers and NSNs for all the parts that are inside the system, uh, which will allow you to easily maintain your unit. And if you're like most of us, you're in a hurry to get out there and start using it, so we supply a simple operator's card, which goes through like um, basic instructions to quickly use the BMVD so you don't have to read the whole manual. And we also comes with uh, lens cleaning tissue and some accessories that I want to talk about so you understand what they are. So let's go over some of the accessories that were in the kit. 
that came with it. These are your sacrificial windows. You want to put these on the objectives anytime that you're operating in conditions that are, uh, let's say, dusty, um, dirty, sand. You want to put these on to protect the optics, the glass optics and the BMVD. Um, anytime you're working in a human environment or you know you're going to do extraneous activity and you're going to be breathing hard, uh, you want to put the demis shields on, the eyepieces, to keep them from fogging up. And they just snap on the back here into the eyepiece like that. And they not only protect the lens, but they keep your, your eyepieces from fogging up. And the last thing we want to cover is the eye cups. And the eye cups snap onto the ring back here. And the eye cups are fairly important, especially if you're wanting to remain completely covert because when you flip these over like this and put them up against your eyes, any stray light will not be seen by anyone around you because these lenses are up against, eye cups are up against your face. Uh, otherwise, if they're not on there, the light coming out could, could actually illuminate around your eyes. So it's important that you wear these if you have a, a need to remain covert. Uh, we're also going to talk about some of the optional accessories for the BMVD today. Uh, one of the most important and uh, extremely advantageous um, options for the BMVD is the three power magnifier. Your three power magnifiers come in a, a soft case like this and they come, on, come with slip on adapters. And what that means is that you can take this and you can slip it right onto the objective lens like so. Okay, and use this for long range. However, I tell most people not to do that because you can actually tilt the goggle like this and this can actually slide off and fall off. So your best option when, when using these, unless you're using it for just a very short period of time and you realize not to look down and have this fall and hit the ground, um, you want to screw this in to the objective lens so that it's permanently on there and it cannot come off. And it basically becomes a, a dedicated long range three power binocular. Another thing you want to do is these are flip up covers and, and they're fine to leave on there when you're using just one, but when you're using two, you want to just slide the whole thing off like this so that they're not hitting each other. So now, now you have a dual tube, long range binocular, three power. So one more accessory I'd like to show you that I think is, is really cool. It's been around for a long time. Most people don't even realize it's, it's, that it's still available. And that is a compass assembly. So basically the compass will slide right onto your, your objective lens. And there's a little button on here. And when you push a little button, it illuminates a compass heading in the, in the BMVD uh, and will let you know which way you're, you're looking or, or you're walking. So um, that's a very nice feature. So one last thing I wanted to cover uh, before we end this is using the BMVD on a helmet mount. Um, this is a standard Wilcox helmet mount. To put the unit into the helmet mount, you just slide that in there and it locks in. Uh, one of the nice features about the BMVD is you can use it as a monocular or a binocular. You can roll them both up. Uh, when you flip this up, there's a button here, you push, the goggle flips up. When it's like this, it's, it's a very low profile. You can go in doorways or into cars without having to worry about knocking it off. Because when it's like this, that's more likely to happen. Um, one of the things you want to keep in mind when you're running with the BMVD in a helmet mount is to have the switch in the right position. We covered this earlier, but I just want to remind you to have this in the second on position so that when you flip this up, it will actually turn off and you'll be completely covert. And I think that's all of it. Uh, thank you for joining us and we appreciate your business.